Good afternoon. Today we celebrate the 20th Sunday in Ordinary Time, and presiding at this Mass is Father Mark Rezel. Our opening song is number 885, God Whose Purpose is to Kindle, number 885. Please rise and join in singing. Have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises, which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. In those days, the princes said to the king, Jeremiah ought to be put to death. He is demoralizing the soldiers who are left in the city and all the people by speaking such things to them. He is not interested in the welfare of our people but in their ruin. King Zedekiah answered, He is in your power, for the king could do nothing with them. And so they took Jeremiah and threw him into the cistern of Prince Malchiah, which was in the quarters of the guard letting him down with ropes. There was no water in the cistern, only mud. Jeremiah sank into the mud. Ebed melech a court official, went there from the palace and said to him, My lord king, these men have been at fault in all that they have done to the prophet Jeremiah, casting him into the cistern. He will die of famine on the spot, for there is no more food in the city. Then the king ordered ebed melech the Cushite, to take three men along with him and draw the prophet Jeremiah out of the cistern before he should die. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks God. God.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us rid ourselves of every burden and sin that clings to us and preserve in running the race what lies before us while keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus the leader and perfecter of faith. For the sake of the joy that lay before him, he endured the cross, despising its shame, and has taken his seat at the right of the throne of God. Consider how he endured such opposition from sinners in order that you may not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on earth? No, I tell you, rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father, a mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Sometimes the metaphors in the Gospel can be confusing or at times seemingly contradictory. So let us start by considering what Jesus did not say. In today's Gospel passage from St. Luke, Jesus did not give you permission to fight with your brother or sister, whether it is children throwing punches or adults hurling insults. Jesus does not give carte blanche on pummeling of siblings. Neither does the Messiah give you permission to disrespect your parents, regardless of their age, their politics, or their taste in music, or their physical or mental abilities. And for those of you who are married, note that Jesus has not declared open season on mothers-in-law, those well-intentioned ladies who also love your spouse, yet somehow are too often made out to be the butt of attempts at humor. What Jesus does say is that people will disagree and that some matters are too important to negotiate or compromise away. It is this faithfulness that the Lord requires of his followers. An illustration. When completing the prenuptial questionnaire with an engaged couple, sort of a written version of their vows, the husband and wife-to-be are reminded that the promise of faithfulness indicates the primacy of their marriage. That with regard to their work, their marriage must come first. And with regard to their friends, their marriage must come first. And with regard to their families, and this includes those mothers-in-law, their marriage must come first. What Jesus says in today's gospel is that being his disciples require a primacy with regard to work, friends, and even family. Keeping this in mind, now consider the poetic image that Jesus uses to speak of this conviction. Being on fire, set ablaze. We recall that it was from a burning bush not consumed that God spoke to Moses, and we know that fire, a source of both heat and light, is the traditional symbol of the Holy Spirit. To paraphrase a prayer from our baptismal rite, as parents and godparents receive a lit candle, we have been enlightened by Christ. May we keep the flame of faith alive in our hearts. This week, we will act as faithful followers of the Lord, knowing what is right and good, even when others disagree.
Let us ask God to come to our aid. For Pope Francis and all bishops, that they may be blessed with the courage to preach the gospel always. We pray. Lord, Lord hear Lord, our Lord. prayer. For leaders of nations, that they may be endowed with skills to peacefully resolve conflicts within their societies, especially in Ukraine. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those victimized by natural disasters, including those affected by the recent floods in Kentucky and wildfires in California, that they may be kept safe from harm and persevere in hope. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For principals and teachers, that they may be joyfully renewed in their commitment as they prepare for a new school year. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the parishioners of St. John of the Cross, that we may persevere in running the race while keeping our eyes fixed on our Savior and Redeemer. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For the sick, especially Edward Krupski, Frank Guastella, Marie Tranquina, Robert Red Ratchford, and those listed in our bulletin, that they may find comfort in the peace of Christ. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Frank Hubbard, Joffrey Arata, father of Greg, Mark, and Vince, Bob Stadler, brother of Terry Stadler, Thomas Winter, husband of Jerry, brother-in-law of Tim and Lee Springer, that they may rest eternally in God's loving arms. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those we remember, especially at this Mass, Jean Janine Pascoe and Kathleen Sweeney. And for those prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. O God, whose Son set the earth ablaze with faith, turn to those who trust in you and grant these prayers. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in singing number 753, How Firm a Foundation, number 753.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we might merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just to give you thanks and to raise to you a hymn of glory and praise, O Lord, Father of infinite goodness. By the word of your son's gospel, you have brought together one church from every people, tongue, and nation. And having filled her with life by the power of your spirit, you never cease through her to gather the whole human race into one. Manifesting the covenant of your love, she dispenses without ceasing the blessed hope of your kingdom and shines bright as the sign of your faithfulness which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all of the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, while with all of the church, as one voice, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, to always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love, and when as once for the disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit, to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bonds of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ, and all of the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and the Martyrs, with St. John of the Cross, and with all of the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
share with one another a sign of peace. Don't let them be mean to you. Just push them around. And... Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Please join in singing number 705. Turn our hearts around, number 705. Change us. 
let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may bear it also to be his co-heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. You saw the tents in the parking lot? SJC Fest is Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and next Sunday. There's no need for an announcement. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. And our closing song is number 593, Send Down the Fire, number 593.